Hello guys, this is Steve and welcome back to The Fun Effect, an entertain company production. Now, as you can see, we are playing some F1 2012 on Spa Franco Champ. It's a three lap race, I start from the 24th place, the opponents are on amateur and I will not overtake anyone in the first lap. That's for a little bit of twist. So, first lap, no overtakes, then I have two laps to get as high as possible. It's I probably will get in the top 10, I don't know, so we'll live and see. But, of course, it's going to be a boring start, so I'm not going to bother you with that, but let's talk a little bit about F1 2013, of course. I did a another video about it, so, but until then, some other news came up, and I'll leave some link in the description with uh, everything you need to read, with a lot of information about the game, but I will tell you that the game will be released on 4th of October, in uh, Europe and 8th of October in the rest of the world which is going to be great and now I wanted to tell you why did we have a one week break well one week ago actually eight days ago uh, I left for vacation with my family and just came back yesterday so I'm posting up this video and while this was uploading I will be rendering uh, an unboxing of something really cool that I did and I want to talk to you about this vacation of mine which wasn't so much a vacation because a lot of trouble went in it our car broke down in Bulgari and then until Greece we had another car and things were pretty much upside down but after all it was a great vacation, I will be making a montage out of what I have filmed because I went snorkeling and if you don't know it's like scuba diving but with the tube, not with the tank of oxygen and yeah, should be a short and fun montage. I think of opening a blog, starting blogging because I have a lot of things to tell you that are not suitable for YouTube so yeah, I don't know how I will, if I will do anything like that, but... Yeah, so as you can see, I'm still doing the first lap. Spa is a lo really, really long circuit. But we're coming up to the third sector in just a moment. Kicking Kariteran a bit in the back. I think that HRT left F1 is a good thing for the game, right? Because now... As they told us, they have more memory to do other things with. They have two less cars on the circuit at the same time. So, if you don't know, there are a lot of F1 2013 gameplay footage on the internet. And that... I can see an improvement on graphics, on rain graphics of mainly. And a lot of improvement on mirrors. And I think that is due to the fact that there are no HRT on the track so as we are going I'm not going to overtake this guy until the really last moment which is here so now I will start overtaking everyone is my f so first Kirtian then Petrov he's not in F1 anymore and now going on the after the first corner the straight towards Eurouge overtaking Charles Pick in his Marussia in just a moment be going a bit off track but luckily I did not receive a penalty going fast on the main straight DRS not open because of course this is a three lap race and there's no DRS in three lap races braking overtaking like a madman kicking Glock on the side but overtaking him and now speeding towards the so called hairpin I believe on the outside of the La Rosa, of course, hey, Shati, no more, so... Yeah, this is the summer break of F1, so it's really boring for me right now. I don't have what to watch, so I play a lot of F1. A lot of sim racing, and... I'm still waiting for the PS4 like a madman. So, yeah, switch to normal. Plundering on. Massa is the next opponent, so I should be really careful when overtaking him. Went a bit wide, so lost a lot of time there. My phone ringing, it should not do that. So overtaking Massa on the outside, then Ricciardo is up. Ricciardo is a lot of 
it's, a, it's the cause of a lot of discussion this year. Will he, he go to Red Bull? Will he not? A nice overtaking on him. He closed the gap really nice. I did not expect that from an amateur. From amateur difficulty. Going on the inside of Raikkonen, Vern, Rosberg, and Senna in one overtake. That was insane. Senna, of course, we're not talking about Ayrton Senna, which I really want to see in F1 2013. It would be a shame if Ayrton is not in it. In his Williams. He's coughing up by the hole. So, overtaking some other guys, and guess where we are? Down to 10th place in one lap. That was kind of amazing. Which means I can now plunder on the big guys. I don't know why Kimi was in the back and why Maldonado is here, but Williams had a really bad start this year. I don't know why. So yeah, overtake, sitting in his slipstream, oh, moving on the has outside, overtaking him on the braking zone, and now pushing like hell to go as high on the grid as possible, overtaking Perez, Kobayashi next in his dreadful Sauber. But he's a Ferrari, so it's still a good car. I love Ferrari. I've always supported Ferrari. And now, uh, before Ferrari, I supported Renault. After all, I kind of went with Alonso, if I'm honest. And now, overtaking the Stig. Braking. And now the German is in front of me. And I'm looking to overtake the German as fast as possible. With no mercy. That's how you do it. And now Mark Webber. Mark Webber is retiring from F1 if you don't know that. And I don't know why he's doing that, but he's going to run with Porsche in the Endurance World Championship. And now Grosjean in front of me. And I'm overtaking him. Am I? Yes! I've got Grosjean. And now I'm broke late, but looking to let button through and I did that and third place for me here which is kind of good after the Maka boys well yeah kind of that's it thank you for watching come back tonight for an unboxing of an <coughs> 10 inch tablet cover which is a rubbish rubbish cover I think I'll do a review out of it but it's rubbish and well pretty much that's it thank you for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe for awesome content for the fun effect steve out